William Hill sponsors Joshua vs. Brazil on Sky Sports Box Office. Radio Rahim here with breaking news. I've got Adam Smith and Glenn McCrory of uh, Sky Sports. They've just informed me that the Klitschko Fury fight is off, and we're going to get some details as to why that might be. Uh, first, Adam, what's happened? Well, it's very disappointing news, isn't it? Really looking forward to uh, both Anthony Joshua's fight with Dominic Brazil tomorrow night. And, of course, the rematch with Fury and Klitschko. You know, Glenn and I were in Germany when, when Tyson Fury you know, shocked the world, didn't he, winning the, the world heavyweight title and on foreign soil against a guy who's reigned for a decade. Um, and, you know, he's, 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 full of, um, he's full of quotes and you never quite know what you're going to get with Tyson Fury. He came out, said he was too fat and all the rest of it. He's been in training camp. But, you know, I've, I've spoken to people who are close to him and they said he was in terrific shape, that he was ready two weeks, uh, two weeks to go. But about 10 days ago, he, uh, he was out running and he's, he's turned his ankle. I've seen a shot of it. It's, uh, it's a mess. And so he's, he's right to pull out. Um, it's postponed, I believe, till about October. But I think it's a real shame. It was, a, it was a fight we were all looking forward to in the heavyweight division for July. And, um, you know, it just puts Joshua against Fury back a little bit more, I think, which is a shame. Um, so we need the Fury Klitschko fight to happen sooner rather than later. Obviously, the fans were looking forward to this rematch. But with the money invested and everything that was on the line, why has it been 10 days without this report coming out? Uh, that's what Tyson Fury said. He said he did it about 10 days. I think they, they, they took their time to have a look at it, to get a, a, a couple of assessments to make sure that uh, it was legit. But listen, Tyson Fury depends on his feet very much. His movement out in Germany when he beat Klitschko the first time was fantastic. And I think that, you know, he's, he's done the right thing. I mean, ask Glenn. Glenn's the former fighter, the former world champion. He'll tell you, you know, I don't think you should be going to a fight with an ankle looking like that. Absolutely not. And Glenn, I guess we're going to assume that this injury is legit. You've seen the x-ray. So when it comes to a, a fight of this magnitude, who takes the advantage in a postponement such as this? And it's the second. Well, first of all, no fighter wants to, to pull out of a fight, especially not a fight of the magnitude of the world heavyweight title fight. But Tyson Fury is, prides himself. He's a real fighting man. You know what I mean? He prides himself on that. He's, he's scared of nobody. He'd fight at any time. And I think what they've done is they've given every chance. You know, he'd have been trying to battle on to try and get through it, hoping that, you know, it would just l let up a little bit. But obviously it hasn't. And they've, they've made the right decision to, you know, you, you, you've you got to give yourself every chance when you're fighting somebody like Vladimir Klitschko. I think it, it doesn't, you know, Tyson Fury's still a young man. You know, he's got a, a, a long time in, in a career if he wants it. Klitschko is gets no younger every passing month gets a, a little bit older but also the frustration from someone who's been around boxing as long as Vladimir Klitschko has it's going to be you know it's been a very frustrating time since he lost the world title he's had a he's had a tough time mentally and and I think this will just be just an, another little thorn in the side for Klitschko I think, I think Tyson Fury would not have pulled out if, if it really wasn't very serious I mean remember what happened with David Hay you know David pulling out from the cut and Tyson went absolutely mad and you know and, and I think David Hay was absolutely right at that time to pull out as well it's happened to Fury he, he, as Glenn says he's a fighting man there's no way he would have pulled out of this fight if it wasn't really serious I just don't believe that you know what's ironic is I think if the shoe had been on the other foot so to speak yeah. and it had been clear Klitschko pulling out, Fury would be going on a tirade now about him being weak and being afraid yeah, and being... What's Klitschko going to say? That's interesting. Yeah, I'm what? sure he'll go on a tirade and, and say a lot of things about, about Fury. He might take it as a bit of an advantage. He might say that, you know, maybe this time, you know, Fury is, is starting mentally to, to, to crack a little bit. But, uh, you know, we've, we've seen pictures of the angle. It looks really, really bad. Um, you know, and it's not a bruise. It's, 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 it's severe, severe bruising. Um, so you, you just can't, especially when, you, when you're carrying that much weight on your legs like the, like the big boys are. So um, they, they made the right decision. And yeah, it's, it's just it's very, very frustrating because it's, a, it's an excellent fight. You want a kids, kids go to have every chance to regain his tightly held so, so, you know, so well and dignified and honorably for, for a decade. So... Um, you know, hopefully it's, it's, it's fixed and the fight gets made as soon as possible. Knowing the boxing fans and the uh, conspiracy theories that float the internet constantly, I guess we can confirm here from no better sources than these two, uh, Adam Smith and Glenn McCrory, that they've seen the x-ray, the injury is legit, so this is not a joke, this is not some kind of antics. With that said, Klitschko's not getting any younger. Uh, an ankle injury is very serious for a fighter who has movement like Fury. When this fight ultimately does get made, 
who is advantaged by this happening? As Glenn says, you know, every month that Klit goes by, Klitschko gets older. Um, and and the, I think the big question mark over the rematch was whether Vladimir Klitschko could be as poor as he was last time. Has he just got to a point now in his career where it's pretty much, you know, the end? It's, it, there isn't much left in there. He's the sort of guy that will want to do more than anything, regain the title, show it was just a, a one-off night and, and, and bring it all back. But physically, can he do that? So I think it, it doesn't favor Klitschko, the delay at all. I think Fury, as Glenn has said, is that he's a young guy. Uh, it will heal. And it will also, you know, if he had a bit of problem shifting weight for a few weeks, the weight's come back down. And, you know, that, that may be a blessing. The fact that, you know, it's, it's, it's happened. And who knows if he was in 100% physical condition but I tell you what he will be next time he'll make sure he's absolutely right Fury and I fancy Fury to beat Klitschko probably more than I would have done in, in July if it happens in October. Glenn being a former fighter you know what it's like to fight through pain fight through injury an ankle is something that's so unpredictable even if he feels solid in training in the coming months is it something in the back of his mind that at any step I take this ankle might roll is there anything that can be disadvantaged mentally from him having gone through this experience and having to wait to fight? Boxing is is a physical sport and you need to be in you need everything to be right and you know fighters in the past have ha hidden injuries but normally to the detriment of their performance and I think you know when it's something as as important there's so much depends on it like the heavyweight championship in the world you can't and uh, it, being the fighting man that he is he's obviously tried more than anybody else probably would a lot would have most likely just pulled out straight away. He's obviously given it 10 days. He's obviously tried and tried and tried to see if, if there's any way that that can get through it because that's the nature of the man, you know, true fighter. And, and it, that's, that's obviously what, what hasn't happened and it's getting no better. He needs to rest now. It's, it's the, the fight, the, that's the only way it'll get better so the fight can't happen. Radio Raheem reporting breaking news. The confirmed legitimate injury of Tyson Fury has canceled the Fury-Klitschko rematch. He's rolled his ankle. Maybe October will be the, the next date. I thank you so much, Adam Smith. I thank you, Glenn McCrory, for helping me report this news. Radio Raheem with Adam Smith and Glenn McCrory from Sky Sports. Sponsors Joshua vs. Brazil on Sky Sports Box Office.